Hello, my name is Ryan with T-Equipment. I'm here to follow up our last video on the FLIR T530 about unboxing your camera and setting up the screening mode. And I'm here to present to you how to connect it to your computer and use the FLIR Screen EST software. What you're seeing here on my screen now is a projection of the thermal camera. I'm going to quick backtrack and show you how we got to this point. So up here on the left hand side, after you've connected your FLIR T530 using a USB-C cord to your PC or device, you'll scroll over here to the left hand side where you see the word discovery. Here you'll see a list of webcams, different types of cameras that are all connected to the specific camera or device. But what I'm looking for is the FLIR camera. You'll notice it's the only option on here that shows dual streaming mode. This is key to what you're seeing on the image here on the right. From here, we're already connected, but you'll see a lightning bolt like you do up here. You'll click on that lightning bolt and that will allow you to live stream and connect to your FLIR unit. Um, what we're using today is a FLIR T530. This same setup can be used on any FLIR EXX series camera on up. Um, some of the functionalities you'll notice on this program is on over here on the left hand side you'll see a thermal image this image is purely generated on temperature and temperature differential on the right hand side you'll see a digital picture both of these combined is what it's allowing your customer to have a seamless well presented process of screening when they walk into your facility down at the bottom, underneath of both of these images, you'll see a, a rolling bar graph. Right now, it's a flat line because we're, we're not running people through here and scanning them. If, if it was a normal business day and we had several hundred employees walking through, every temperature point will register on this graph and you'll see the, the spikes accordingly based on their temperature readings. This can all be exported from the software as well as put into Excel spreadsheets for data analysis. We'll show you more about that in future videos. On the, for this video, I want to get into more of the, the basics and what you see here when you first open it. On the right hand side, you'll see it comes automatically set up to enable tracking of face det detection. This is something you're going to want to leave on. What you'll notice it does is when you're scanning people, it will track the face and recognize a face. It, it causes a lot less errors in the screening process, a lot less false positives. It also makes it a lot easier and seamless for your customers or your employees to continue on with their day. Down below that, you'll see alignment data. Typically, we recommend leaving that as is. Depending on different distance, distances and setups, these can be changed and edited. Please reach out and give us a call if you have any questions. We will cover more detail on that in future videos. Right here, what you'll see is moving averages. And this has to do slightly with what you're seeing down here, but more so with the collection of data, data and building out an accurate process that's ever evolving. So you'll see here what the value is. This value is what's set up as the, the targeted temperature we're looking for. In most cases, human body temperature, that people are looking for and is recommended by the FDA is 98.6 degrees. So we'll use that as a reference throughout the rest of this video. So we set the, the targeted temperature at 98.6 degrees or Celsius in this, this case. Below that, you'll see sample counts. So in a large, large business, you might have hundreds, if not thousands of employees. This will edit the amount of samples needed to set that baseline temperature to start a shift your day or to, to recalibrate the, main, the baseline temperature of your process. For us, we're doing a smaller scale operation right now, so we're going to drop the sample count down to 10. Now, what this will do is you'll see the spike right here. It is collecting 10 data points of temperature to build out an average. This will be used for an ever-evolving updating screening process that really allows for a hands-off, customer-friendly setup that adjusts with the environmental factors that change throughout the day. What I'm referencing is temperatures in the morning are much cooler typically than later in the afternoon. 
This might affect baseline temperatures in most setups and screening scenarios with this software and this rolling moving average. This factors in that moving baseline temperature throughout the day and it creates much less false positives. Now on the left hand side of the video camera or screen that you'll see here are just some basic functions of the camera. This can calibrate the camera. You'll see focus changes, autofocus. In most scenarios, I recommend just hitting the autofocus and leaving it be. Um, the last thing I want to touch on here is events logged. So from here, you'll see it shows when I connected the camera, when I bumped the camera and disconnected it, and so on. It will also notify you of alarms if need be and if you would like to. In our, in our videos in, coming up in the future, We'll dive into a little bit more detail on the settings and control room functionality that you might be interested in. Again, my name is Ryan Boyle from T-Equipment. I thank you for your time.